I actually started out when I was quite young. I wanted to be in the movie industry. Uh, I actually started to like uh, do my own short movies and you know, create uh, you know, local TV material, um, which I thought was amazing. And the movie industry in Sweden isn't that big, uh, but still I found it very, very interesting. So uh, my, my only indication, education in the subject is actually within like TV and movie. Uh, then I got into computer graphics as well at a very early stage um, and I started to pursue that and, and I saw the rise of Pixar for instance when you merged computer graphics with storytelling and amazing pictures and at the same time I was playing a lot of games but back in the 80s this was games weren't that great it was just you know pixels you could have to add a lot of imagination to see what it actually was on the screen. And then as games started to become better and better, and especially with the rise of the PlayStation 1, I actually saw that, hey, wait a minute, this is actually combining the things I love the most in the world, which is, you know, uh, amazing imagery, storytelling, uh, you know, computer graphics and, and cool technology into one thing. Um, so um, back at that, that uh, time, uh, gaming wasn't that big in Sweden. But then I actually got an offer from a friend who asked if I wanted to do like CG for video games and I uh, jumped onto that uh, immediately. And uh, a couple of years later I actually got hired by DICE uh, to be a designer on uh, one of their racing games uh, which was called Rally Sport Challenge 2. And that was my first job at DICE and from then on it's uh, only been DICE. I think in general my, my skill set probably comes from me being pretty interested in, in gaming and, and entertainment as a whole, you know, understanding what is fun and why it's fun. Uh, also being very interested in, in uh, computer graphics and pretty pictures, I'm, I'm into photography as well. Uh, so I see the benefit of, of adding you know, amazing pictures on top of great gameplay. Uh, and also understanding the value of audio and, and stuff like that that comes from my interest in movies, for instance, uh, and merging all of these things into one. And then, of course, working at a place like DICE, you have experts in all these areas and people are just amazing at what they do. So my job is more to merge all of these skills into one single product. For Battlefield 4, I have my leads team that I interact with every day. Uh, and that contains of everything from you know, art directors to um, you know, more technical people uh, to other producers that work with uh, different parts of the game. So my interaction with the game is both on a very high level but also I love walking around in the team and talking to the actual individuals making the game. Um, at DICE we try to stay very very close to the product and, and my job is to, to be there and, and uh, support the team and, and help them to deliver the product in the end. I think the best advice is to you know, do what you believe in. If you don't believe in what you're doing, you will never get great at it. Uh, we have people that are great at many, many different things. So there's not one type of individual that we're looking for. Uh, we need talent in, in all areas. And I think uh, something we uh, believe in is the, the brains of everyone. We want everyone to feed into the process. So we don't just want people's hands, who want their brains. Uh, to me that's very, very important, so people dare to speak their mind. If they have a great idea, it can actually end up in the game.